Uh, but before we get back into one more indie run, we've got a drink redemption from Summer. This is uh, one of the Karma drinks here. You might know them from Karma Cola. That's what I know them from, at least. Uh, organic Gingerella Ginger Ale. I have not had this drink. I have had the Karma Cola, and I've also had the Karma... I think they have a lemonade. Um, and yeah, they're pretty good, honestly. I, I like them quite a bit. Um, anything special here? This I do really like the, the can. It's pretty good. Um, I like the bright orange as well. So gi I didn't realize this was a ginger ale. I like ginger ale, so this uh, this, sh this should be something I like. Made in Austria. Shout out Austria. Ginger ale's fiery kick comes from organic ginger grown by fair trade farmers in Sri Lanka. Organic vanilla and raw cane sugar. Keep things sweet. Cane sugar? Cane sugar. Let's go. Let's have a, uh, let's have a crack here, shall we? Thank you, uh, Summer, for redeeming this one. Okay. So I've got a, a glass here to pour this thing out with, uh, as well. I'll have a sip first. Oh, hello. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Woo! A bit of a kick there. Hello. Okay, we poured this sucker out into the cup. Not a great smell out here. It smells a lot better in the can. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Drank some Richie Cola this evening. It was disappointing. Non Coca Cola, Pepsi Cola drinks. Wow. Oh. Fair enough. Yeah, I, I think uh, I, my. Um, my big takeaway is that it, it had that kind of like lemony taste in the cola, which to me, I, I'm not a humongous fan of. But it was, uh, I've, I've had worse, that's for sure. Like if I, it was between a Richie and something like the cheese soda, I'd, I'd definitely rock the Richie for sure. And maybe the cheese soda is too low a bar, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Explain why ginger ale is the best soda. I don't know if ginger ale is my favorite favorite for everything, but I really like ginger ale. Um, I don't know what it is. It's something that I didn't like when I was younger, and as I got older, I really started liking the taste of ginger ale. And uh, there's not a, a lot of ginger ale out here, at least that I've seen. I could be wrong. Um, might be looking in the wrong places, I guess, but... Um, Every once in a while, I find a, like a ginger ale, like a, like, I don't know, a drink, ginger ale drink, Schweppes, or like, uh, you know, what's the other one? Canada Dry has one. And I'm like, oh, amazing. And I always buy one, like, instinctively being like, I just don't see it. So I wonder if I appreciate it a little bit more uh, now with that. But this is very interesting. This is quite an interesting drink. Folks, I might, I might like this drink. This might be good. This is dude, Dia versus Coca-Cola. Totally fair. I mean, Coca-Cola is kind of the gold standard for a reason, I, I think. I know some people probably don't like Coca-Cola, but... There's something that's just absurdly, like... It's just so strong of a flavor that, like, it's sort of, I don't know, I just, and I, 
<laughs> I'm also like American. I don't know if that factors into it, but I always like hold the Coca Cola as sort of like the baseline. It's the cheese pizza of the of the Coca or the like I don't know cola world, and then things go up and down based on on how you how you work it. I think. Boy, this has got some kick to it. Holy moly. I don't know if I've ever had a ginger ale quite like this one. This is very interesting. So if we're talking about like kind of the ginger ales that I've had in the past, right? So you know, we'll use Schweppes as an example. Um, you know, this is something that has a really um, bubbly bite to it. Um, the sugary sort of um, cola, not cola, but I guess like sugary soda. Um, gingery kind of a thing too. <laughs> Sweepy, yes, sweeps, sweepies. Um, and it's just kind of good, but it's like quite sugary. Um, the one thing that doesn't have as much as what's happening here is like kind of that actual ginger uh, kick. Like, you know, when you like have some ginger, it sort of gives you almost like a spicy, like a heat. You know what I mean? Like when you eat it. I have not actually had that in a like this strong in a beverage before. Um, that's just like out of a can, you know what I mean? Like I've had drinks with ginger added, you know what I mean? But like real ginger, but. This is good. People, I, I think this is a thumbs up. This is a whoops thumbs up here. Holy moly. It's pretty good because like it's not Crazy sugary. I think the choice of uh, of kind of the cane sugar, I guess. It says organic sugar in the listing, but it says that it's cane sugar over here. I think that changes the, the kind of profile a little bit. And there it is, yes. Vanilla flavoring. There's definitely a, a hit of vanilla in here that is like completely changing how this tastes. It's very good. Yeah, it's like vanilla. It's like a, uh, it's not cream soda, but it has like a vanilla sort of baseline. And then it has like a strong soda flavor, you know, kind of just like uh, soda. Soda is just bubbly water, right? But it's got the bite from the soda, like the bubbled soda stuff here. Um, it's got lemon for sure in here. And I saw that it has grapefruit as well in the, the, the listing. I'll, I'll read the ingredients off shortly. Um, and then there's like, you almost like you get the ginger initially, but then like you, you drink it, you swallow it, and then the, the ginger comes back. This is like what the, the flaming Hot Dew wanted to be right here. This is what it aspired to be, but instead ended up being one of the more cursed drinks of all time. I will say the scent is not good. If you have this, keep it in the can. The can was really, really good. Um, the scent is a little bit like, um, it's just like, I don't know, it smells a little off. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like that part. Ginger ale gummies. Oh, interesting. I've never had that. I've had the, the hard candy before, but never a, a gummy. That's cool. That is true. Ginger ale is very, uh, what would it be? Uh, it's, it's very, um, well, I don't know, you can put it in everything, right? Flexible drink, if you will. <laughs> Schwa pee <-pees. laughs> Shiwa pee <-pees. laughs> Well said, Havorius. <laughs> the can's better than the drink. Yeah, it's a good can. Good can for sure here. For an ingredients list, we've got carbonated water, organic sugar, organic ginger extract, 0.7%, organic lemon juice from concentrate, natural clove, acia capsium, grapefruit, and vanilla flavoring. Interesting. Clove. You know what? I'm prob I prob that, that's definitely in there. Amazing video where someone mispronounces Schweppes. 
So I knew somebody um, who used to say, uh, who used to say Sweepies. I think it was Sweepies. And that was like a big, a big thing. To the point where I like, I say Sweepies like as, as sort of like a joke now when I talk about it. Like when me and Meows like sit down and we have like, a, we got like a, a bottle of Sweepies, like we will say it that way. Cause it's like, I don't know, kind of a funny thing. The new Coca Colas, yeah, 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 yeah. Hopefully, hopefully. I need to. Um, obviously, this is. Um, we're pretty low in, in the fridge now. I think we've only got one more drink left, so. Um, this is gonna have to go. On my to-do list here, um, I am like in the process of getting a list together because I would like to do some taste testing, during the Bonathon. But it looks like I'm gonna have to pick up something well before that. <laughs> 